wanting to be an artist growing up, but not knowing what that meant, how to do it. So I was like, oh, I'll do illustration, because that seems more viable as a life thing. All of a sudden, painting, again, a year and a half. That trajectory has gone quicker than like the seven years of freelancing as an illustrator. Kay Gassay, illustrator, artist, painter. Lond <laughs> London native, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> illustration was first. And so I only think of myself as an illustrator and only in the last year I've added the painting as a, you know, as a thing. So it's like artist, but only previously encompassing illustration and drawing and designing and now painting just added to them. Like I'm still, it's still not natural just to say artist, all encompassing. The first time I drew something properly was like three years old. Yeah, I think it was like, a, some, like something biblical. I had a dream I went to heaven, so then I drew heaven. But then after that it was like Dragon Ball Z and you know. Usual, usual thing. I don't like being verbal with my thoughts and feelings, but in artwork, you can, you can do that. Because I, I wasn't gifted and talented. I went to like Greenwich Uni in year four as like this thing we used to go every week. Then I did like a private art school for like a couple sessions, like three or four, but I got bored because there's just old people in it. And I was like, mum, I don't like it. There's just old people. I'm the youngest person here. <laughs> my first work experience, TK Maxx, two weeks. It was actually kind of fire though. We had school uniforms with ties and everything. At school, you don't want to wear that. But as soon as it's like a real world scenario, like, all right, I wear a tie, I, you know, I wear shoes. At 15, you think you're a big man, you know? Then you're really talking to real people and you're like, how can I help, blah, blah, blah. This is kind of, kind of sick. The like BLM face, it was just a black face. A few days later, I did the power to the people one, which is the one on the horse with like the fists up. And then the next one after that was what you're going to say. And so I think at that point, I was on the decline of like heightened emotions. I was kind of angry because it was all about um, the George Floyd and all that kind of stuff happening. The thing was, it was a question to like everyone, like what are you going to say? Like, what's the excuce now? What's the, you know what I mean? It was kind of directed at everybody, no one kind of thing. The excitement and stuff of like me coming out this year with art. So you get invited to a bunch of stuff and then you're picking what is the right thing to do and obviously not all of them are the right thing to do which you don't know until it's happened or again not even not, it's not the right thing to do it's again even for themselves it might not be the right time do you know what i mean this kind of stuff so since july last year i've done what like maybe i, th I think 15 shows something like that i've done like kind of kind of a lot and then you do a thing which you think is maybe the move then you've painted a bunch of stuff and then that that show nothing sells in my head i'm like that's the way it goes. Have a show where everything sells, have a show where nothing sells. Try not to think of it in terms of like, again, like you say linear, I try to think of it in terms of bird's eye view. And then that, well, at some point the picture will be made.